today I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to show you the story of Mr. and Mrs. Danky. Mr. and Mrs. Danky. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cloud Joseph. And if it's your very first time here, guys, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. On today's video is a super special, guys, video because I'm coming live from Homabi County. And right here, this is where everybody just come to park and enjoy coffee time during uh, evening time, you know. And right here it's a market day today but I wanted to show you the best best thing you know like despite these machines you see a car and a motorbike I'm going to show you the most local machines you know like the like the one that you used to see you know like in the past and today I'm going to show you the most most and before we go far guys if it's your very first time here kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and on today's video i'm going to show you mr and mrs danky mr and mrs danky so despite this car here you see another one is carrying luggages you see right there it's real passing with a lot of sacks and that was sad and so today right pay a visit on these donkeys right here you see these are donkeys right here so these are the most most uh, machines you know that we use over here so guys stay tuned let me know at the comment section if you people do you have such donkeys over here and you see they are enjoying green grass so today i'm going to tell you the reason why the donkey doesn't have horns <laughs> yes it's very beneficial like to stay with grandmas round and uh, to be with what you call like grandpas and grandma so the reason why the donkey doesn't have the horns I'm going to tell you one and two three about the donkeys you know right here you see they are really really enjoying grass over here and there are three of them you have Mr. and Mrs. Donkey there's a story that came about like there were two animals that they were competing about you know a, a prize giving it was like a prize giving day but now like the donkey was asleep was in a deep slumber and uh, they made a deal with uh, what you call like an antelope yeah if i'm not wrong but my grandma narrated this story to me those days back i don't know if i'm going to narrate it very well so this mr donkey the reason why it doesn't have the horns isn't that the termites made a deal with the antelopes so they like on the other day they were going for a competition you know it was, it was, it was like a prize giving day so the reason why uh, the reason why like the donkey doesn't have the horns i'm going to tell you here but do me a favor before we proceed kindly give a video a like subscribe you, if you haven't and share this video because that's one way of supporting me and that's one of the best way to support this channel <laughs> As you see, this donkey it lacks horns because an antelope made a deal with termites. Termites are small, small, what you call like the small, the smallest animals. No, the smallest insect that made an ant hill. Yeah, what you call like when you see like an ant hill, that's one of the best, best like things that make you know ant hills do. If you have ever been in a desert or in a place like where there's swampy, swampy places, we have what you call like an ant hill yes yeah so when you say like an anthill so like those small ants we're gonna say, maybe i wanna say maybe it's an anthill or termites yeah but i know is that called that they have termites so they have what we call the claws so they bite or they eat so the antelope made the sweetest food ever they ate together with the donkey yeah they ate together with the donkey and uh, the antelope made a deal with the termites that when I'm going to prepare the most, most uh, sweetest food. And with that, I'm going to invite Mr. Donkey. So that when we will eat, I'll just put, I'll just like poison him so that he wanna fall into the deep slumber. Yeah, so without much ado, 
the antelope made a deal, he prepared food and he invited Mr. Donkey. So when they ate that food very well, they ate the food, Mr. Donkey was very tired after eating, you know, and it was like now he wanted to sleep, so he fell down and uh, fell in a deep slumber. So Mr. Antelope made a deal with the termites, maybe the ants or the termites, and it started eating the horns of Mr. Danky. So when the Danky like wake up, so like the termites started eating small, 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 small. So in the following day, when the Danky was like now trying to to wake up, he found himself. Like it doesn't have those horns, but mice have just eaten all the horns. Now it remains with the tall, uh, with the tall ears. So the story about the tall ears is it here. Before we go there, my grandma usually sing this song to the donkey. It is in Swahili, like Masi kini punda ali ni muapembe akapewa maskiyo etindi opembe. Pembe, 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 pembe. So that was one of the most, most challenges that the donkey faced. So the reason why this donkey lacked what we call like the the horns is that like the termites ate all what we call like all the horns. Yeah. Now they were saying like the horns, 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 horns. So Mr. Donkey lacked the horns because like. The deal they made with Mr. Antelope it collapsed, and now when the donkey wake up, it was very, very furious, very, very angry with Mr. Termite and also with Mr. Antelope. So, like they were both staying in uh, in that jungle. So, Mr. 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 Donkey was so so angry, and he was like, so today, like now, my ears have now like grown longer than the horns i don't have long horns so started hunting the antelope you know it started hunting the antelope and it started now like trying to whenever it sees something yellowish you know like that resembles the antelope it started to kick you know it started to give kicks now now till today you see now the reason why the donkey kicks you know if you can come across the donkey <laughs> and it doesn't know you very well. You do, it doesn't recognize you very well. The donkey hits you. you no, know? it gives you kicks. For those who like were, were staying back in the village, or for those who people who know that uh, how the donkey gives its kick, they can tell you. You know, maybe Ayamaro, all the Virginia, all the Mwango, they can tell you how the donkey gives kicks. When it's very angry, the donkey can can double kick you. Pa, pa. You know, it uses both back legs to hit you. So that's the reason why that the donkey lacked horns. So let me know at the comment section. How do you people know like the donkey like you know? How do you know like all the beliefs or the narrative that back there in your villages or in your countries? Did you people have such stories? You know? Because this is the story that I was narrated by my grandma and today I decided like I want to share with you this beautiful story of Mr. Donkey. As you want to see right behind here guys, it's really enjoying grass, right crazy, the green grass. You see the way it is? I'm not familiar with it, you know, but it's really like, it's friendly. So when now Mr. Donkey was really, really like angry about the jungle. So it decided like I'm not I'm no longer going to stay in this jungle. I'm no longer going to stay in this zoo. So today that's why you see like the uh, this Mr. Donkey stays with human beings. So it decided like with me I wanna be helping you like carrying luggages but you wanna be accommodating me for free. So that till today you see like the donkeys are being reared by human beings. Is it because like that's the reason why like the donkey didn't want to go back uh, in the jungle or in the zoo because they became enemies with the antelope till to date when you go right behind here and it doesn't recognize you the donkey kicks <laughs> and it give hot kicks you know it give hot kicks 
and one of the advantages like now the donkey let's talk about the donkey apart from the story the donkey nowadays helps human being to carry luggages heavy luggages you know heavy luggages like also it's a very best means of transport back here in the villages so this is mr donkey let me know the comment section back there in your countries or back in your villages how do you use these donkeys over here you know how do you use donkeys and if you if, if you can see right here guys for those people who know very well have you ever recognized that a donkey has a bat mark each and every donkey has a bat mark and that bat mark is over here you see that black mark over there that's the black mark it's like a bat mark you know every donkey have you ever known that guys so if you have never known that let me know the comment section you see oh you see it's trying to give me some kicks have you ever known this that the donkey have what we call like the donkey have what we call like the bat mark on the right leg every leg you know so without much ado let me say like i've come to the end of this video and if it's your very first time guys kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing this video let me know in the comment section if those stories are being narrated to you do you have time to stay with your grandma or with your grandpa to narrate such stories is my story interesting <laughs> let me know at the comment section if such stories do exist back in our countries maybe i want to say thank you so much and bye bye from home